John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And when they came to Marah, they could not drink of the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Marah. Exodus 15 23 Commentary And when they came to Marah, a place in the wilderness, afterwards so called from the quality of the waters found here, wherefore this name is by anticipation. They could not drink of the waters of Marah, for they were bitter, and they must be very bitter for people in such circumstances, having been without water for three days, not to be able to drink of them. Some have thought these to be the bitter fountains Pliny speaks of, somewhere between the Nile and the Red Sea, but these were in the desert of Arabia more probably they were near, and of the same kind with those that Diodorus Siculus makes mention of, who, speaking of the troglodytes that inhabited near the Red Sea, and in the wilderness, observes, that from the city Arsenal, as you go along the shores of the continent on the right hand, there are several rivers that gush out of the rocks, into the sea, of a bitter taste. And so Strabo speaks of a foss or ditch, which runs out into the Red Sea and Arabian Gulf, and by the city Arsinoe, and flows through those lakes which are called bitter, and that those which were of old time bitter, being made of foss and mixed with the river, are changed, and now produce good fish, and abound with water fowl. But what some late travelers have discovered seems to be nearer the truth. Dr. Shaw thinks these waters may be properly fixed at Carondel, where there is a small rill, which, unless it be diluted by the dews and rain, still continues to be brackish. Another traveler tells us that, at the foot of the mountain of Hamamelfaran, a small but most delightful valley, a place called Garandu, in the bottom of the vale, is a rivulet that comes from the aforementioned mountain, the water of which is tolerably good, and in sufficient plenty, but is however not free from being somewhat bitter, though it is very clear. Dr. Pakuk says there is a mountain known to this day by the name of Elimera, and toward the sea is a salt well called Bithamar, which is probably the same here called Mara. This Le Mara, he says, is sixteen hours south of the springs of Moses, that is, forty miles from the landing place of the children of Israel, from whence to the end of the wilderness were six hours traveling, or about fifteen miles, which were their three days travel in the wilderness, and from thence two hours travel, which were five miles, to a winter torrent called Warden where, it may be supposed, Moses encamped and refreshed his people, and from thence went on to Marsh, about the distance of eight hours, or twenty miles southward from the torrent of Warden. Therefore, the name of it is called Mara, from the bitterness of the waters, which the word Mara signifies, see Ruth 1. 20.